Hey guys, so it's Ryan Tyler and I'm here to help you guys learn how to target. And I think that's one of the biggest things is people don't understand how to get a target audience. They, they sit on there, they know how to run ads, they know how to put them up, but they don't ever get that confidence that they're actually using the right ones. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, there's never going to be the top of the best of the best. There's always going to be something different. Like there could be 10 different people putting 10 different ads up each with different audiences and they all could be the same. Like not one, it's just going to be the best. It all, de it all depends on like who you're targeting, what your, what the product is, what the opportunity is, what the company is, whatever, it, whatever you're doing or brand, you know, whatever you're doing to, to push these things, it all, it all defers. Um, so that it's definitely the hardest thing, definitely the hardest thing to put up, but it's also simple in terms of you don't need to stress yourself out over it because if it doesn't work, you just try something else. It's, and this is the thing about the target audience is that you guys need to understand that you're looking for the right one. So you're not going to find the best one off the bat. You're not going to find the best one right off the bat. You're going to find, you're going to have to go through a couple of them before and after like you're gonna see okay this one didn't work so i go to the next one you keep testing them out and it's okay like i've done it too I, the first two months i ever did this stuff i didn't really see like uh, like i did see success but not in the way that i'm seeing it now i had to had, i had to go through those failures i had to experiment what worked what didn't work and most of you think that there's a the, like a skill set you need it's not you just you keep testing and testing and testing until you find the one that clicks the most and has the most click through rate with the highest percentage increase and then you go so let me just show you guys where you need to go and what the part you'll be focusing on so this is it this whole thing right here is the the bread like the beef and beans of the ad um and this is where you're going to put your audience in, guys, like right here. So let me just go over it basic-wise. And you get the locations. You're going to do the United States. The United States should always be the number one, unless you're in a, like a global company, like let's say a Nadric or something. You can target any country you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but mainly um, the ones for the companies that, you know, that I represent, most of them are all English-speaking countries. So they could be United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand. Those are like the top five. And uh, the ones that are recommended the most. So here you're going to mess with the age. So depending on your product, you may understand that a younger demographic might be interested in what you're selling. So you would target 18 to let's say 24. And that's like the number that I've seen come around. That's how I split it up. So 18 to 24 can be a section. You could do 25 to 32, uh, 35 to 46. Like it all depends. Like it all depends on what. And if then you go to gender, you test all at first. And then you start breaking it down. So what's going to happen is when you get to the gender, and just understand your first ad is not going to be your best one. This is what I'm trying to preach to you guys is to find where or what is working. So in the beginning, you're just going to be 18 to 65 and do this. And I'm telling you, do this. This is the only way you're going to find it, 18 to 65 and target all. Now, when you start going through your ad, you're going to be able to see who's clicking more. And by that, all you're doing is clicking eight. Um, when you get to like, and I'll do this in another video, you're going to see, oh, the younger people that are men have been clicking on this stuff a lot more than the women who are older. So you would target young men. Or if you notice that you're, you're pushing a certain like hair product and you notice that 25 and older females are liking it then you start targeting 25 and older and then you do females and you just change it up and you keep going with the audience you keep narrowing it down the part of the ad is to keep getting more specific you're broad at first and you get more specific so your first ad you shouldn't really be stressing about you should be wanting to see you're, you're trying to capture the right audience languages obviously you do like english you can do english all um, targeting. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing for most people. I have a hard time explaining this. It's not really like the easiest thing, but in essence, you see where it says targeting. Like, so it says, say, like, did Sephora, right? You see how it says detailed targeting, and right underneath it says narrow audience. Well, the detailed targeting is like the broader aspect of who you're trying to target. So, like, the overall niche. Or the overall section. So let's just say, for instance, you were pushing like a network marketing company. So you would do, you would type in network marketing, you would type in affiliate marketing, digital marketing, online marketing, 
business, sales, direct sales, everything that pertains to money or anything that pertains to online like network marketing. And, and the cool thing too, one thing I want to show you guys, when you're putting this in too, make sure, oops, let me get rid of this real quick. All right. See when you go, you go over one of the names, make sure that the reach right here, see how it says 4,357,720 people. Make sure every time you click on something, it's over a million or more. If it's not in the millions, don't do it. Like I'm just letting you know for you know specifications. Unless you're going like very specific, like like an adjective, like it's very specific. Unless you're getting into that, I wouldn't worry about it. But like the four, like over a million. Make sure there are seven digits, and then you can start posting. So you can do affiliate marketing, digital marketing, and as you start putting it in too, as you start typing in more stuff, guys, more things that are like the things that you're clicking pop up. So I. I typed in affiliate marketing. The next thing that popped up was digital. What's the next thing you guys see? Content marketing, social media marketing. What's after social media marketing? Online advertising. What's after online advertising? Facebook marketing. There's so many things that you can put. So it's like an overall like broader section of what you're trying to target. Now, now that you're in this part, what you're going to do, and this isn't something that just, don't just copy this. This is just pure example. When you get to the narrow audience, this is where it kind of gets more specified into what you're doing. So if you're doing a magic, what are you going to target? Water. If you're doing Forex, what are you going to target? Forex, charts, technical analysis, MT4, all the little tiny aspects of it. Like, so with the magic, it'd be like alkaline water, purity, pH level, um, reverse osmosis. Like, it's like health products. So when it comes to Forex, you could do MT4 technical analysis, fundamental analysis, um, swing trading, day trading, scalping. Well, you can do whatever you want with that. And when it comes to businesses, you can try something like work from home, home-based opportunity, um, MailChimp. MailChimp is like a, um, the email service that you guys can put in. So you can target people that have an interest in online automation. Um, if it's for like sports, you can put health, you could put soccer, football, if you understand. Like, and then this is just overall. So like you take the overall aspect of the whatever product company or brand you're representing, and then you dive down to the specifics. What does this overall like niche of like broader section get specified down to health? Is it a skill set? Is it another type of business? And you start diving down the little technicalities of the product company or brand that you're representing and then find keywords that match it. When you get to that stuff, when you start finding it, so you can do like active credit card user if it's business. You can do online shoppers or online shopping, premium credit cards, whatever, primarily credit cards. Like you start narrowing it down. Now, the one thing you guys are trying to do is to get down – this potential reach, okay? See how this potential reach right now is at 20 million? You want to aim, and I'm saying aim. Don't go over 10 million. Don't go under a million. I say the sweet spot for these types of businesses and the sweet spot for anything is two to five million. If you can get it between two to five million, you are good. Now, it's at 20 million right now. I know that, but as you guys see, we're not done the ad yet. This is just the, the targeting aspect. This is going to drop, and I'm about to show you why. When you get down to this area, we say it's placements. You're going to see automatic placements, recommend it, and edit placements. Most people would go automatic. You go, oh, I can just do this. This is fine. Don't do this. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up, go to edit placements. This is how you pick. This is where everything goes. Now, please remember this, okay? This is what you always, no matter if it's for anything, like this is what you're going to do and this is how I teach my guys and it works. It's worked for me. It's working for everybody else. So do it. Click on all devices. Now, depending on what you're doing now, I know a lot of you are in businesses and you're trying to get your content to promote whatever business you're doing. Now, if you're like that and you're trying to promote business, mobile only. I'm telling you the type of... I do this for, I, this is all I do. You can do desktop, you can do all devices, and then you can see, okay, who's going to be on their, uh, who's going to be on a computer more, who's going to be on a phone more, you're going to see. The phone will always win. The phone, the mobile, I'm telling you, is going to be out the laptop and the desktop every single time. 
So if you're doing business and stuff like that, Forex, Nagic, Health, you know, whatever, mobile only, you're going to click on the arrow on Facebook. Now you're gonna see all these little things, these check boxes. You're gonna get rid of everything but feed. So we're gonna click on instant articles, in-stream videos, Instagram, and audience network. The only thing that should be left, and it actually goes a little lighter, is feeds. Leave it. Now remember how I told you that this was at 20 million before? Look what it just hit. 10 million. It's in reach. This is a good, this is a, for an example audience, this is this is legit. This is what you guys need to do. Edit placements, mobile only, drop down Facebook, only leave feeds. Now, what does this mean? Feeds is when somebody's like this is just scrolling through their Facebook like this. Like, let's just say that this is all different people. This is one of my Facebook groups. Let's just say each post is like my main feed. I'm just going through. Oh, this person said that. Okay, this person said that. This is called your feed. Now, where we're targeting is the feeds only. So when we post our ads and somebody's going through their feed on their phone, our ads are gonna pop up in their main feed where they see it. It's not gonna be on the side here, like how you see this. Like No one pays attention to this shit. Nobody cares. I'm not looking at this stuff. The main thing I'm looking at when I'm on my Facebook is this right here. That's all I'm looking at. After a certain bit, you just stop caring about here. So we want it to pop up in their face and that's what we do. We just dumbed it down to only pop up under the feeds. And this is good because this is where people are going to interact more with your shit. And this is how your posts are going to go viral. I promise. So feeds only. All right. And that's at 10 million. This is good. And after you have your audience down, you're good. Now, after I'm just letting you know, after you pick your, your, where your location is, your age, gender, um, your targeting here, save the audience. Just save it. Okay. Don't not save it because once you not save it, you have to re-enter everything again. So just save the audience. So you have it for another ad later. You can delete it if it doesn't work or whatnot. As you continue to go down. Now I'm the guy that I'll start with like 50 bucks a day, but because you guys are brand new, I don't want you guys going out spending shit tons of money on stuff that doesn't work. So $5 a day to start until you guys understand that the audience you're, you're clicking is working. Um, you won't see a lot of results in the very beginning because if your fan page is brand new and you have a brand new account and you're spending $5, don't expect to be getting leads on leads on leads. It's going to take time. You have to mature your fan page. You have to mature your ad. You have to reach more people. So I'd say give it a week or two before you start seeing any crazy results on $5 a day on a brand new ad. If you want to see some crazy results in your first week on a brand new page, you need to be spending like 50 bucks a day. Like straight up, I'm just letting you know, it's not like, oh yeah, five bucks a day and I'll make millions. No, you want to make money, you got to invest money. That's just how it is. Another thing is when you're going to go down the bottom here, you're going to see when you get charged, it's going to already be on impression. You're going to click more options underneath of that and you're going to click 10 second video view. Why? Because if you guys go through here, let's just say, let's just say I'm scrolling through and this right here was an ad, right? If I can't, well, for example, let's just say this thing right here. Let's say this post right here was an ad. Now, if this was, if this was on impressions, I would be scrolling through. I'd see the ad, keep going through. That's an impression is when it just pops up, they're scrolling through their feed. They see it for a second and they keep going. That's going to cost you. That's when people, so right there, spent money. Going back through it, right there, spent money again. Now, if you set it to 10 second video view, What's going to happen is if they're scrolling through and the ad captures their attention and they stay and the ad stays on their main screen for more than 10 seconds, that's when you get charged. So it's five, four, three, two, one. That was 10 seconds. I've stayed on it. Now, whoever had this ad up is going to get charged. That's how it works. You don't want to get charged like just by people getting impression. You're not guaranteeing them to even see it. They can just scroll through it right past and you wouldn't even know. 10 second video views they got to stay on it which is cool so that's what i like the most and then when you guys finish this stuff obviously you go to continue and then you're going to go down and you're going to be able to edit your page and and whatnot and i have other videos for that so um but guys that's how you do targeting um and that's where this is the sweet spot that this is the sweet spot of ads and if you can get this down if you take my information and what i just told you and you use it correctly you'll make a lot of money so remember, pick a different, you're going to start 18 to 65, do all, and then you're going to go down, you're going to fix all this stuff, 
Actually, let me go back to one for a sec for the purpose. Okay. The top detailed targeting is going to be the broader section. The narrow audience is going to be the more specified section. And make sure that the estimated reach, potential reach is at 10 million or less. Now, mine's 13 million because I actually had it on women before. But you understand the point. Get it to under 10 million. I'd say two to five million is the sweet spot. Um, and then when you get to edit placements, go to mobile only and only leave feeds up. Get rid of everything else. And then five bucks a day on 10 second video views and the rest is history. So guys, that is how you target people. Um, this is going to be one of the best videos. So if you understand this, please keep rewatch, like rewatch this thing until it clicks. Cause this is going to be where the money's made. All right. So with that, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later.